Hello Ingram Spark community. Welcome to another video with Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Publisher Compensation Calculator. You can find this tool on our website under the Resources tab. Select Calculators, then choose the Compensation Calculator. To start, we need to choose specifications for the book we want to price. You should have an idea about what you want your book to look like, but it's okay if you aren't sure yet. This is a great place to start so you can make decisions about your format, size, etc. You can make informed decisions once you know a bit more about what the cost to print and your compensation might look like. Let's say you have a fiction book that you want to print. A standard size for fiction is 6x9, so let's start there. You'll likely want that book to print in black and white, and then you have to choose your paper type. The white and creme options are both the same weight, but lots of text looks a little softer on the creme than the white, so that's a popular option to choose. The groundwood paper has less weight, so it's lighter. It has a creamy color and is similar to the paper used for mass market paperbacks. For a fiction title, I would suggest the creme or groundwood paper, depending upon the binding type. For the binding type, you have to decide if you want hardcover or paperback. If you want a hardcover, I would go with the creme paper. If you want paperback, both paper types are good choices. Just choose one to start, and then you can change it later to see what pricing would look like for each. You'll see that there's only one option for a paperback, but there are up to four for a hardcover. Of the four, three offer jacket options. The case laminate format has your cover glued to the board and no jacket. Start with your preference, or with whichever one you happen to click. Remember, we can change this at any time to compare. That's the beauty of this calculator. The laminate type is important for the overall look of your book, but all three options cost the same, so don't fret too much about which to choose here. Just select whichever you like. Keep in mind that the textured laminate is only available for jacketed hardcover titles. Next, enter your page count. This doesn't include your cover, only in the interior contents of your book. That means title page, table of contents, copyright, dedication, full story, and any end matter you want to include. If you don't have a completed page count, that's okay. Just estimate. Now, consider the typical price range for books in your niche. For a fiction hardcover, that could be somewhere between $20 and $35, depending upon length. Do your research here. While you can ultimately set any price you want, within reason, you want to make sure your book is competitive in the market. Next, consider your wholesale discount. We have another video that walks through choosing discounts, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. For a basic breakdown, a higher discount is preferred by brick and mortar stores, but most online retailers will carry a title with our minimum discount. Think about what your intended audience and marketing strategy look like and let that be where you start. Next, choose your market. This will vary depending upon where you live and where you want to market your book, but it's a good idea to get a feel for each market. Notice that the currency changes with each market. Finally, click Calculate to learn what a book with your specs would cost to print and how much you would earn in compensation for each sale. If that number looks good to you, awesome! If it's not what you were expecting, adjust the list price, wholesale discount, or even the book type to find a combination that works for you. I hope this video has been helpful, and please let us know if you have any questions you would like to see answered in a future video. If you haven't already, also check out our other helpful videos. Good luck, and happy publishing!